Arch Madness is upon us, and Indiana State is not going this year. But a decade ago, the Sycamores broke a 10-year streak of missing the NCAA tournament. Their first round game was against the Syracuse Orange. Today, Zeke Torres relived big moments from that season with players from that team. Zeke. Mike, the 2010-2011 Sycamores led by first-year head coach Greg Lansing accomplished what no Indiana State team had done since 2001, go to the big dance. Former teammates tell stories about the memories the community impact of that season had. It's been a decade since three local basketball players began their first collegiate season together. It was interesting that he brought up 10 years. Um, you know, it seems like uh, not that much time has passed. They were a team composed of local talent, ranging from Terre Haute to Marshall, Illinois. We wanted to play local if we could, and so to play at Indiana State was a dream come true. And we didn't really know what we were getting into. You know, we weren't real familiar with what that would be like, but we just took it one step at a time. It was a season that began with the Sycamores only winning two of their first eight games. I can remember there was a point about halfway through the season when Coach Lansing basically got us all together and he said, all right, and he goes, we're not going to get an automatic bid. He said, we're not going to win the conference, the, the conference. He said, the rest of our season, every practice, every film session, every weightlifting, every game is to prepare and to get better and better and better to where we're the best team we can be when it comes time to play in the Missouri Valley. That led to the Sycamores finishing the regular season with a 17 and 12 record. I think that the culture really changed once we. I think it was like a five or six game win streak that we had during the conference. I think that it changed from, you know, maybe we're good to actually believing that we were that we deserve to be where we were going to be at. Next began three games and three days for the MVC championship, starting with a buzzer beater in the first game by Odom. It was, I thought Coach Lansing was pretty crazy when he drew that play up and told the freshman to get to the elbow and shoot that jumper, but I guess he, he I guess he, he believed in him and believed in me more than I probably believed in myself, but uh, yeah, it's a crazy moment and um, it's something that I'll never forget and, and as it, it, it meant something only because what we were able to do the rest of the tournament. After winning their third conference championship in school history, next was Jim Beheim in the Syracuse Orange. Yeah, I mean, the first thing you think of when we found out we were playing Syracuse is that 2-3 zone, you know? Huge, long, lanky guys, fat, mellow in the middle. But playing Syracuse, it was just, it, it was a surreal moment where you're like, we get to play a top program and a top coach in, in the whole country. Though the season ended with a loss, Odom tells me he'll never forget the madness in the Wabash Valley. Then and now. I mean, that's how much it brought the community or, or came, kind of gave a spark to Indiana State is, I mean, if, if you do something and people are talking about it 10 years later, you know, you really impacted somebody's life. Or... Though disappointed in the recent coaching change at ISU, Odom and the Idols tell me they're hopeful the next tournament appearance will be sooner than 10 years for Indiana State. Mike. All right, Zeke, thank you so much. Good memories there. A lot of excitement 10 years ago.